Hi everybody, Tanya here. Blessings to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into this. Um, during my meditation with God, he definitely was speaking and one thing he was saying that it is time to get into the word, read the word for yourself, study and show yourself approved. We don't have time to sit and just listen to people um, preach the word to us, but we have to get our own revelation of what God is speaking to us through his word. We have to read his word and he will speak to you through his word. Um, and he took me to Second Thessalonians, which I'm going to read a little bit because it's, it's very important. Um, so Second Thessalonians, it says, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you, not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ has come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So this is why it is critical and crucial in this season to get into the word and read the word of God. This is the truth. This is what's going to save you. This is what's going to protect you. This is what's going to keep us from being deceived. If we do not have this word in us, we will not know when the delusion comes. We will not know when the enemy is deceiving us. He will play us like a fiddle. He will play us like fools. His whole agenda is to steal, kill, and to destroy. And you know what? The ones who don't know this word is the ones he can steal, kill, and destroy. And he is banking on and counting on us not to read. He is counting on us to have someone tell us or read or preach to us the word, which is fine if they are rooted in Christ, but it is our responsibility. That's why the word of God says, study and show yourself approved, not your pastor, not your preacher. Show yourself approved, study for yourself. That is critical in this season. That's number one. Now, the second thing God is saying is about first fruits because in the Bible it mentions several times about first fruits that we are to give God our first fruits. We are so money minded that we think it's about money. But God was speaking and, and, and telling me to let you guys know that it's not about the money. He wants our time. He wants our praise. 
He wants us in his word. He wants us to be in prayer. Because the thing is, God, it says in the word that his mercies are new every day. Every day he gives us new mercies. And God is a reciprocating God. He doesn't just ask us, give me this, give me this, give me this, do this, do that. Without giving, he, he gave to us first. So when he gives us those new mercies every day, what are we giving back when we wake up? Are we giving him thanks? Are we re in the word? Can we read a scripture? Can we give him some time before we get our day started? Can we offer the first fruits of Thanksgiving when we wake up in that new day? Can we, I mean, are we giving him time? That That's the most valuable thing to us as human beings. And it's the most valuable thing, I believe, to God. We have to give him time. He wants that relationship. You can't have a relationship if you don't spend time. And that's in the natural as well. How can you have a strong relationship with someone that you don't spend time with? It's not going to happen. We have to give him that time. So that first fruits is of ourselves. What are we doing when we wake up? Checking the phone? scrolling social media we given facebook and instagram our first fruits and so god is really wanting that time and we need that you don't know what the day is going to bring when when we wake up we have to be offering god thanksgiving and praise and prayer it don't have to be long and drawn out but give them your first when you wake up and you breathe in and you open your eyes, the first thing we should say is thank you, Lord, because he woke us up. We could, we didn't have to wake up. He didn't have to wake us up. So we have to give him those first fruits. Um, and you know, you know, a lot of churches harp on tithing and offering. I'm not going to speak bad on that but in the word God says if you've given to the least of these the poor the blind the lame people that can't help you in return then you've given unto him so let's get that straight but see we won't know that if we're not reading the word because if you're not in the word you'll get used up i mean you'll be broke you'll be broke trying to pay a church tithe and offering and your your account is on zero i've done it i've been there done that pay tithe before i pay my bills foolishness foolish but it once i got into the word and started reading and studying for myself and saw what God said about giving, then the revelation came. So I love you guys. I hope this blessed you and I pray for you. I, I know I'm looking a little scruffy, but I'm an intercessor. So my eyes stay red and puffy. I know people be like, what's wrong with her? But it's just through prayer. So I'm praying for you guys. I love you. God bless.